what is happening everybody welcome back to another video for age of darkness final stand and today we're going to go through uh death knights four five and six for uh horrific uh, all the way through to the victory so we get the victory in this one um and yeah as you can see on the screen if you haven't seen already my sort of one two three uh video then please go and check that out but uh quite a bit uh about that and you know a lot of this has not changed but become significantly harder now um this is still the same map that we did in the the one two and three um and i've gone through and probably completed this probably about three or four times just to make sure that i've got everything um to plan and to be honest the first couple of times i tried to run through this as well um i wasn't successful on the final stand so i just wanted to make sure i caught the final stand um sort of victory um this isn't the cleanest run i'm not gonna lie um this isn't the most perfect one that i've done but i just wanted to showcase um the good and the bad so we're in the death knight 4 and we've got the economy drought coming um so resource gatherers earn less again not so bad but we've already had hazy skies um and again if we had had hazy skies in this one um a little bit more difficult but as you can see here we've got the same sort of setup we've got 45 towers we've got some more impalers we've got the um the grand ballista towers there and what i'm doing here at this moment in time is just setting out my impalers so they're a bit more sort of spread out so they can hit across the whole of that wall piece um and at the moment you see i moved out um and i'm just i haven't prepared particularly well for this one and again this is the, the, probably the weakest of the completion ones that i've done which is why i wanted to showcase it and not being 100 percent prepared per per wave let's so see here i'm just sort of putting some marvelous into the towers i've got my impaler sort of out i'm doing some upgrades here so doubling that damage um for the ranged I've also got concussive shot in for my impalers as well. So as my arbalists are sort of to spawn and as you see them coming in through through that wave, um, put them into the towers. Um, and again, similar things what I said in the one, two, and three video is you want to take out them elites just there as they're dropping down. And as you can see here, he they hardly get a turn. Um, and that's so so important, and I can't under understate how important it is to take them out as quickly as possible i should be focusing down at this point if i'd have had this built out completely um sort of the launchy boys in there but here comes the next elite and again as you see here i've got no people no villagers i've got no food i haven't set this up perfectly and sort of the couple of times i've done after this and i've recorded that as well but i thought i'd leave this one in um i've had a better setup where i've got more villagers in there i've got more food so I can just keep churning out impalers. I can keep churning out arbalists. And, and for me, they're the, the best ones. Now I have experimented um, having in front of these towers, having some flame boys with some sentinels. And if you haven't seen sort of the video that I, I go through that, the more advanced strategies is, for me, yes, they're great, but they still don't have the range. And the range for me is key the moment for this and granted there is the changes to the skills where you can get more health for the sentinels and granted they do survive more but they you know the guys there you know are still launching grenades at you from a mile away and the flame boys won't hit them and you just want them to stay still because they're going to be guarded by walls and stuff as well so yeah again i should be focusing out here and i've clicked the wrong button here as well which is glorious um, and at this point, I'm now going, right, I've got this nailed. Um, I've got the sort of the big boys sort of moderately under control. I'm also starting to think now what's next. Um, so uh, I want a little bit more comfortability here. So I'm thinking I want to build another Grand Blister Tower in um, to make that a nice cohesive unit. But again, thinking about what's happening, you know, for Death Knights, um, five and six being the final stand so starting to think right can i keep this as a self-contained unit um granted you know you get more elites you get more enemies so probably could have done with a, a slightly um, more defenses going into them and you'll see that as we go through a little bit later but again here feeling really comfortable the four towers with no all got arbus in them um, the two Grand Blister are doing a reasonable job here. Ideally, um, you know, I would have had two banks of towers uh, and probably four Grand Blisters 
and then I wouldn't have had to worry at all. But again, this isn't perfect. And again, I've gone through this afterwards and I've had all of them towers in there, like two waves of towers and two waves, uh, sort of four ballistas. And it's a lot more manageable, a lot more resource heavy. But you don't, you know, because I've got the same amount of impalers there, I'm just building arbalists and i have a lot of arbalists um at the end so ideally that's what you'd have but you also have to think about the pinch points that you've got and what is acceptable for that next see i'm going around trying to hunt around um sort of farms to boost up because one thing i've noticed and this is obviously in patch 1.4 1.04 is you don't get to explore the map as much um, I haven't tried this on the lower difficulties. Um, you probably could still explore the, the map in that, but they have shrunk down the amount of knights in between the death knights, um, which is a good thing. It speeds up the, uh, the ability, and it's probably you know shaved off probably a good half an hour um, for me trying to go through this. Um, as you see, I've set them up here, um, and what I'm doing up there is to, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of resources getting dropped is uh, my initial plan was to come down here and spread out right uh, and start to explore um, the right hand side of the map and I was going to sweep down I didn't actually do that I actually went south um, as you'll see um, sort of as we go through the other sort of death knights and into the final final stand but yeah at this point really comfortable but again still got to make sure you, you're taking out the range boys my um, walls are taken here so lessons learned from here is probably have four sort of walls to go through um if i can i say have more towers and a few more ground blister but again it's all resource based i've got as you can see here my gold wood iron and stone is at really really good levels but i don't have the people and that you know again lessons learned that when i went through and did it again i had more people at this stage as i've iterated before so yeah just make sure you know you've got a good setup but this is an adequate setup for this um ideally a couple more towers um but at this point you know when you're feeling really really comfortable you need to start to think about the next waves and it's really really important that you're going right i don't need to commit any more resources to this defense i'm going to start to respawn an army so what i tend to do is i have an army that goes around and starts clearing the maps um i set that into a defense once that defense is sort of um sufficient and i know it survives i then start to build up my other defenses and um i've got some defenses or impalers there which are going to form a defense um again this is probably the third time i've run this scenario and a couple of times i've done before i've lost um because of sort of the wave breaking through this zone um, so I'm starting to, to, again, prepare that. And this is where it's really, really good to have that sort of autosave. Um, the saves for this, now obviously on Nightmare, you don't get any saves. You can't do that. But what you can get is it does autosave after um, each wave. Um, so if it doesn't quite work out, you can go back to that autosave and, and try again. Do things slightly differently. Um, at this point, I've got four, you've got four days. You, that is enough time to sort of recover slightly, I would say. As you see here, we're still pushing through. Um, again, down to a thousand, it's all good. Um, again, as you say, I'm, I'm as I said before, I'm starting to move my troops up because that's where I was hoping to uh, to move through. Let's say I didn't quite do that. As you see, I start to move them, move them back down. Starting to think, but yeah, as you see, I've got the the three walls are going to hold. Um, the impalers, the archers, and the two blister towers are doing okay. So I'm now starting to actually prep going forwards um again and this is what i'd recommend you do when you get down to a comfortable thing you don't really need to worry about your defenses start moving on start to explore um don't push it too much because as i've said previously extend these sort of death knights as much as possible because you're going to get the resources coming in use that to expand and build more units to build more farms build more sort of dwellings and you know houses and whatnot because time is you know scarce you know you've got the minutes through and as i've said at the beginning in the horrific uh the first horrific video you got the you've only got a finite amount of ticks to go through so trying to uh 
utilize that the best and use utilizing and exploiting these opportunities is really really good so again building a load of houses building and everything and uh yeah start planning got 200 left we'll get the um get the blessing up shortly but again just maxing out um people here see we're good here look at that that that's comfortable 200 left absolutely perfect again uh, now i've got one unit coming up so i take the one unit down so uh yeah that's uh it's really really safe again starting to think about pushing south starting to you know put up that um large sconce to start to expand out the um yeah start to expand it all out i should say so here we go and now we've got um emboldened have 10 percent chance of damage i choose that um i've previously done two for one um, but I think that that 10% is really good. So now we're on to um, the fifth Death Knight. And again, if you've seen the first video, it, it's exactly the same tower um, coming up. So I think it was Death Knight 1, Death Knight 2. can't remember, to be perfectly honest. Um, as you see here on the right-hand side, because I've done some exploration south. Again, this, this got burst through previously when I have done um, all of my testing that uh, I thought, oh, do you know what, let's go south and try and reinforce this area. So I've got a ground blister at the top there just to try and take some of the heat and actually it helps a lot because you see a lot of the enemies sort of, especially in the bottom middle part of the sort of map, they're trying to actually get towards that, which is useful. Uh, but again, 50, you know, 16,000 units we need to sort of get through at this stage. That's a hell of a lot. So as you see here, still the same thing applies. Take down the big boys. Focus on the long range guys when you can see them. Um, and again, just try and try to um, defend as much as possible. And sort of I'm sat here think, trying to re remember going, right, this also needs to try and survive. Sort of almost two waves through it. So uh, hence why in, you know... The, the other death knight i was starting to plan and build up there just to try and give a natural progression the first time i tried to do this i had both units going straight into this and there's just too many of the big boys too many elites i couldn't kill them enough because of the way i've set up this defense where the towers are at the top of the screen should have been where i started to well where the, the grand blister at the top are so i should have started to build the walls and had them funneling into that three piece rather than having them out at exposure at four and five. So I haven't quite set this out perfectly. But again, because I'm a scrub, I pause and obviously nightmare, you can't pause or anything. So, you know, good luck trying to pause and stuff. But as you see here, you know, there was some iron there, which I could have done. There's some iron on the right hand side there, which I could have done. But iron was one thing I never actually run out of, of this, um, of this map, which again, really, really good map for me. Um, I have explored all parts of it across all the different attempts and um, again this is probably the, the least clean of the victories that I've got. But as you see here again constantly trying to build farms, constantly trying to build housing because you need them to build towers, units um, and I know in their patch notes they've said they don't want this to be a, a farming simulator but um, there's sort of not really much choice um, because you just need that so I don't know how they're going to address that going forward. But uh, feeling quite comfortable here. Um, still, got, you know, I'm thinking, oh, you know, we've got this quite easily. But still, my, there's still 10,000 units to get through. Um, I don't exactly recall how many um, sort of the elite guys that are coming. But I think it's something in the region of one every thousand. So there's 10, maybe 15 of them coming in. Along with, like, again, the guys from down far properly they destroy your your tower so the spitter boys there along with the elites have to really focus them down and again the reason why i'm using this one is because it's not just me sat here focusing 100 percent on killing it and killing each of the orders i'm off having to go out building farms building houses and you can see the damage that just taking your focus off these areas does you know i should be taking out the spitters here um but i'm not so again, try and learn from my mistakes here. I've got a nice clean avenue here. And the thing is, if I had taken out the spitters, 
Um, I would have actually been able to defend the walls a lot better. There's no one attacking. You can get um, the, the repairs going in. And even if it's a really quick one, so three or four seconds, that's still a couple of ticks up of the defense. So really, you know, important to when you get the opportunity, do that kill order. Get the big boys out. Get the spitters out. Then get the, the big floaty ones that come up and attack. And then get the javelins, you know, and then get the melee boys in. Try and give your defense maximum amount of time to repair because you know especially with setups like i've got on the screen at the moment you don't give or i haven't given myself enough opportunity to defend and that's the problem um but again i'm feeling really comfortable and i'm now starting to think about the final stand that's coming what do i need to do to start to prepare again i got down to like sort of halfway through feeling really really comfortable and I, I nearly actually, I think I lose all of my towers on, uh, walls on this one. I can't quite remember. I'm going to say, I've, I've gone through this one a good three or four times. But we're just going to see what happens. But again, as you can see here, maxing out my resources. I've got some good people, got some good food. Should be building more and more sort of units. And I, I make an absolute mistake as well. I've, I've built a, um, a training in the wrong place so i've got all of these units sort of starting to be built um but they don't go anywhere because they can't because i've landlocked them but i eventually find that and um sort of that out at a, at a later date um and then i have like a, lots and lots of units because i'm thinking oh my units are quite sort of small and i'm just keep building arbalists and then suddenly i have like 30 arbalists um in one location because they haven't been able to move anywhere but as you see here, I've got uh, sort of one of the walls is down because I haven't been paying attention. And that's that complacency. Don't get complacent. Try and focus that defense as much as possible. Make sure that, you know, you're clicking off to an area where you want your units to start to go, flipping straight back, and then, um, you know, building the units and knowing that they're going to go off to the location that you want. Especially after this one where you get 10 minutes to go between this and sort of the final death night and or the final stand and that time you don't get too many unit sort of enemies coming out to get you you're sort of in that preparation stage which is really really good so you can start moving units from one to the other you don't really need you know you can start to sell some of the defenses that you'd have previously because you just don't need them anymore you just need to focus down on that final stand which is coming up you know very very quickly at this stage but as you see here you know again similar to the last one only just enough walls to get through um and survive so again this was a four depth but because it was quite wide um and i hadn't choked especially out of this sort of side well enough um i've lost you know a lot of my walls and everything but we're down into the last hundreds. And, you know, there's one big boy, again, slightly lucky um, down the bottom there. But, again, he's trying to attack the blister that's attacking him. So, yeah, really, really comfortable at this stage. And, again, I'm not worried about the resources. I don't need the resources. But if someone's taken down the farm, which I haven't noticed, because um, I've got minus six on the farm, um... Yeah, starting to just use their resources and starting to rebuild up the walls. Because, again, I don't need that what's on there. The daybreak approaches, we're done. And what do we get? I think I go for two for one at this stage. Yeah. Because the others just aren't useful enough. But here we come into the final stand. And again, again, this one is not the most perfect that I've got. Now, I've granted I've got a lot of arbalists around. But my defences aren't defenses are perfect. And, you know, at this point, I'm not going to get attacked in too much. But I've got a, a better defence at the top. Again, lessons learned from a couple of others. Um, here, yeah, Especially on Horrific, if you've got a save. Save in that sort of... I'd probably say before that far last Death Knight. Because then you get the, the Death Knight plus the, the 10 minutes afterwards to, to plan your defences going forwards. But again, price of loyalty up, not the worst perk that I could have got. 
But at this stage, you can see I'm building a lot of defensive towers because my first or second loss, I think, came down um, and I lost because it came through here. Again, just learning from, from that mistake. And actually repeating this sort of uh, three or four times actually helped me hone what's an acceptable level of defense against what's not. So here we go. We've just seen this one in the last Death Knight and um, because it's the first one coming up and I'll skip around to a few. But again, focusing down where possible on the elites. Now, the problem with this one is you can't be at every place at once. So I'm trying to focus down and keep this area safe. The next one is at the top. Now, the, the first bit up there it was just a sort of a guard to help me start to be better on the screen at the moment. So a few resources at the top to hold them at bay before they come ripping through and get stopped uh, where they are here. Now, this is the southern one. Um, again, I've lost because they came up um, to this one and actually attacked from underneath there, whereas I thought they'd go through where that elite spawn was. Um, and I'm sat there thinking, you know, I've got this right. It's fine. I'm actually really glad, really, really glad I've done this. So I've said before where ideally you'd want two lines of defense. And I think this video, this part of the video is really going to showcase having two lines of defense really, really helps. Obviously, this is defense number one. Again, it's, I know this one is not going to survive. It's not, there's not enough walls. It's not enough defenses. There's not enough impalers there. But it helps to weed the fat out. You know, get rid of some of them elites. Get rid of a lot of them, of the units. Um, and again, because I know this is the weakest point of my defense at this moment in time, I am trying to just kill as many of the elites as possible. If I can kill 30, 40, 50% of the elites in from that front, it gives that secondary so much more and you can that's got the room to expand and have the full defense this was literally around an iron um mine and from here up to where they spawned this was the the chokiest point that i could find so i just wanted to do a mini defense up here to try to say weed out as many as possible again focusing down here we're seeing buildings are destroyed and it's you know it's where i am now i'm going to start to look around what i've got now this bottom bit again Ideally, I should have had two lines of um, arbalist towers in the fortified towers in the arbalists um, with probably three sort of grand ballistas um, and more of my impalers on the left. Because as you can see here, this is where they've come up. And in subsequent runs, I sort of weighted my impalers out to the left and my grand ballista out to the right a bit more. So they were stunning the elites. I see here on, I just flipped over to that mid bit that we saw. Um, they were coming really close to the towers. Yeah, not really great. And I get a bit panicky at the end of this um, this run, which is, again, a good showcase of what to do and what not to do. As you see here, this is the, the first sort of defense, knowing that, that, again, that's not going to hold. But the plan up there was to give myself some time for the secondary defense, which is also acting as the primary and only defense from... Um, sort of down south now I was hoping that I could get rid of all of the enemies down south sort of then build up a few more walls before um, sort of the very western one come didn't quite work out like that but again starting to panic at this point because I've literally got um, no walls in front of my towers now so I'm hoping my you know again probably could have had some more impalers here just to knock back and clear through the sort of the mini minions but this is where the power of having that, that secondary defense is, is so good. This is about to get broken through. Once they get a hold and get sort of an, an inkling in through, um, you're sort of gone. Your, your towers start to fall really, really quickly. Um, but I'm just getting them to, to do it. I did think at some point about retreating them. Um, but at this point, you're just trying to sort of stop the inevitable. So just try and kill down and attack as many of them elites as possible now if you notice on the right my uh yeah as we cut to it here they're both going to start to merge now um so they can start to munch through all the other things which is fine you know you could sell them but actually that helps as a distraction um and here we go the two have merged and i'm sat thinking this is probably the worst point um that it's going to be 
Um, but this actually holds out moderately well. So remember back to the the first video we did on uh, Horrific that uh, the units sort of got a little bit stuck. Um, and as you can see here, the elites are still like that. So again, utilizing them corners lovely, perfectly. But again, as you can see here, the tower has started to fall. And again, what I start to do here, as you can see right at the top, is I've got some um, sort of walls behind just to try and stop anything coming. And it can act as a reinforcement barrier um, behind. And I think I start to build some towers and some um, sort of ballista behind, which I don't think is necessary in the end. But uh, we're down to the last 5,000, and I'm moderately comfortable at this point. Um, and then things start to deteriorate um, quite rapidly. So they've gone to my secondary point here. Um, again, that's really comfortable. And then I noticed there that, oh, oh dear. Um, they are going to breach and have just breached that tower to the right. And that was one where I was actually anticipating it probably not being breached. I thought the south might get breached, but because it was quite a good pinch point, wasn't expecting it as much. Um, so I'm starting to panic here. Um, now, one thing to note here is if you're upgrading your blister tower into grand blister towers, they still fire. So don't worry about upgrading towers. Um, in the middle of this do it because yeah you know at this point i'm sat there thinking oh my god but again still going through everything focus down that um them elites now you see here the southern area is clear so what i'm now starting to do is take my impalers up to try and give myself some leeway i know up top here is probably going to be safe because of the um the Grand Blister and the Impalers, and I've got quite a good Arbalist base here. And I'm sat there thinking, well, there's no... Uh, the other Elite's just gone. That's safe. South is not looking great. And I'm just don't not worry about the um, the Nightmare there. I'm literally going, I need to destroy these Elites. And again, as you see here, building a fortified tower to do that. Again, my Impalers here are going to die. That's not the, the important piece here. It's just giving myself the time and the distractions to save this <laughs> save this area um so i've got three elites to get through and a few but down into like literally this is the only place that's really left um and i get a surprising ending here um, i'm not sure if it's a, a time-based thing but um i don't think we kill everything i'm gonna keep an eye on on this uh as we sort of come back but that's all good you know that's 100 percent safe and I'm starting to move the units down south because I'm thinking they're going to breach through this defense and I need something to help me. We're down to nine units here and they're on screen basically. Um, so I've moved my Arbalist out just because I wanted to get them into the tower and really, really sort of sat here hoping and praying that the tower goes down. Again, this is why if I hadn't built them extra walls, these extra sort of, um, sort of defenses, I would have probably died um granted the big boys would have probably gone through some of the towers and i could probably built some defenses like that that i've just got but down to five and you know i'm telling them just to, just to kill them just kill them just kill the big boys and there we go it suddenly ends with a couple of the big boys left but i still think we got it i'm, I'm not quite 100 sure why that was the case but yeah that is how to defeat Horrific. Um, stats will come up there. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It really, really does help me out. Uh, and there'll be some more coming to your way shortly.